Gather some coins or make some from paper. I've managed to find some coins in my house and I have put the first couple of coins into a, a sort of caterpillar shape and if you want to you can put some legs on it and maybe some antenna as well if you want to you don't have to do that and the first thing you might want to do is go over which coins you have so in front of me I have a 2p a small little copper one which is a 1p then another 2p then the little small silver coin which is worth 5p and then another little copper one which is 1p so what your challenge is is to then work out how much this is worth all together so it's just like another it's like an adding an adding calculation so we've got a 2p we've got a 1p we've got a 2p a 5p and a 1p okay so lots of smaller numbers which we should be able to add up quite quickly all right so we've got a 5p and then we've got a two and a two, which is four, okay? And we've got a one and a one, which equals two. So we've got four P, two P, and a five P. So then we could add our five and our four, which we know makes nine, and add our two P on, which equals nine and two more, which is 10, 11. So in total, we have, 11 pence or 11p okay we've got first of all so we've got 50p 10p 20p um one point and 2p so the first thing i would do is add up these pence the pennies first of all so we've got 50 add 20 so 50 and 20 is 60, 70p. So we've got 70p there. Then we're gonna add our 10p on, which takes us to 80p. And we have to add our 2p on, which would take us to 82p. And don't forget, we've got our one pound there. So that means we have one pound and 82p in total okay okay so this would be the hot version of this challenge and if you're really wanting to challenge yourself you can get quite a few coins together and see if you can add them all up okay so we've got a one pound coin a 10 p coin a 50p coin a 20p a 2p a 1p a 5p a 2p a 1p and a 20p okay and we're going to see if we can add all of these coins up to find out how much we've got okay so we have one point we have a 10p 50p 20p 2p 1p 5p 2p 1p and a 20p so first thing i would do is add up our bigger numbers first of all so we could add our 50p or 20p together which would give us 50 and 20 is 60 70p then we could add our 20p onto the 70 which would give us 90p so we've got 90p now that we've added those three together. Then we could add our 10p onto that, which would take us to 100p, which I'm sure a few of you can remember is the same as one point, okay? So let's put that underneath our one point. So now we've got two points over here. So we've added these bigger numbers here all together, and we're just left now with the smaller pennies. So we've got 5p. And if we add 2p onto that, we've got 6, 7p. So 7p add another 2p would be 9p. And then we've got one penny to add on to 9p, which would be 10p. And one to add on to 10p, which would be 11p. 
Okay, so let's put 11p over here. So all together then, let's add this together. We've got one point plus one point, which equals two points. And we've got 11 p so we put a little dot there and an 11. So all together that totals up to two points and 11 pence.